The piece of advice that any content creator can give you as a new YouTuber is to master the art of how to create consistent content. So in this video, here are my tips on batch producing YouTube videos so you don't feel like you're having to churn out a new video every single week. In this video, I'm going to cover how I plan out my YouTube content for the month and how to batch YouTube video content. I'll also be showing you how I batch my scripts and I'll take you behind the scenes in planning my YouTube video. How to batch film YouTube videos so you can film more videos faster. Basically, I'm just going to be sharing my top tips in how to stay consistent on YouTube. This is my exact content batching procedure. Interested to know how to plan YouTube videos in advance? Then stay tuned. <laughs> Hello there, it's me, Deepa, back at you with another really awesome video. If the intro didn't explain what this video is about, in this video, we're going to be looking at how to batch YouTube video content. First things first, what most YouTubers who are showing up consistently on YouTube and with a strategy have in common is they have a posting schedule where they consistently post a YouTube video, at least a YouTube video a week or two or three. By hook or by crook, come hell or high road, that video is posted weekly. And this happens simply because for most YouTubers, simply because it's gone through a content batching procedure. However, for me, since I am new on YouTube and I'm trying to create a lot of video content so that I can rank for key search terms in my niche, so my video content schedule at the moment is three videos a week. And this is a challenge that I set myself and now I have to stick to it. That's 12 videos a month. So I started three months ago, but I really truly started this three videos a week challenge two months ago. And at the moment I've managed to churn out 37 videos as of this video, I think. I think the number is 37, somewhere around there. So first things first is to decide on the number. How many videos do you want to do per week? Personally, I'd say about at least one, obviously, one to about three. Anything more is kind of pushing it unless you have an audience that really loves to see your content constantly. Once you have a number, one, two, or three, decide on your posting dates. And to be honest, the days that you decide to post are also really crucial. Use TubeBuddy or vidIQ to check on the best posting days and times for you and your channel, and also the best posting days that make sense logically for you. And I'll tell you why. Just last month, I was posting a video on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. My fingers, my eyes, and practically my entire body were glued to the computer screen because I was posting one day, planning for the next, posting one day, planning for the next. Just wasn't possible because firstly, you're planning and editing new videos for next week. And at the same time, you're editing and trying to get out the videos for this current week. And this literally was just burning me out. Now I have changed my schedule to Monday, Thursday, and Saturday which gives me Tuesday and Wednesday in between. And it's such a relief. Since the days are slightly more spaced out, this gives me more time. So now I really don't feel like I'm overworking myself as much, especially since YouTube is not generating me any income yet. But on the other aspect, I have other business related activities for my coaching business and my digital marketing business that also demand my attention and that are needle moving and I really should be focusing on. So now that we have the number of videos that you want to be posting every week, we're now going to look at the back end process to preparing yourself to batch your content. The first thing in the back end process of batching your content is topic research. So once you've figured out how many videos you're going to do in a week and a month, for my case, it's 12 videos. I now know that I need to prepare 12 topics in advance because I don't want to be sitting in front of the camera every single week. So my aim right now is to batch record these 12 videos in a specific amount of days. But before I can do that, I need to undertake a really in-depth strategy to help me plan out my YouTube video topics and the content. Lock off a couple of hours to do in-depth keyword research, to plan out topics for yourself. I block out two hours and the tools that I use to help me keyword research for my topics are a combination of Google Trends, 
Uber Suggest and TubeBuddy. I go through a rigorous strategy of searching for keywords and then formulating topics from those keywords and really understanding the possibilities of me as a small YouTuber trying to rank on these keyword tags. So I also have to do a lot of research and searching out the competition out there and how I can do it better. So this is a very tedious process. Normally, after two hours, I have come up with at least 12 topics, if not more. Most of the time, it actually is more than 12 topics, which I leave as uh, leftovers maybe for the next month or add-ons in case I want to change a particular type of video. Since I'm creating my videos in a specific kind of niche, aspiring online entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs, there are so many different keywords and topics that I can be focusing on. So what I do is I, I plan out all these topics in Airtable where I separate these topics by the topic title, the ranking, and how good this title is for me and my channel and the keywords that I'm hoping to rank for. So in Airtable, the topics are numbered from one to 12. So I know exactly the order that I need to be creating these videos in. And I can also visually see, say for example, I'm doing a video on something on Instagram on one day, then the next day or the next release date for my video, I typically try to not put it as another Instagram related video. Planning in advance allows for me to spread them apart. I then add a date for when I'll be posting them. Some of the keywords that I found for my research that I can be ranking in and how useful ranking for this keyword will be for my channel. Whilst this is being done and whilst I'm creating a record in Airtable, for those of you that don't know, creating a record in Airtable is basically like adding another row below in your table. So when I create a record, it triggers the creation of a task in Asana. So if we go into Asana, which is the project management tool that I use, the task is created as the topic and all the subtasks are there that I need to be doing to ensure that all the elements of the back in batching process of this video are actually done. And I can check them off as I'm doing it and I can monitor the progress of every single individual video. So I cannot stress the importance on having a structure like this that really helps you in knowing what you need to do, when you need to do it, and keeping track of how long it takes you to do it. And this helps you in actually staying consistent. So to create this trigger that I just mentioned, I use Zapier. And there are so many videos out there that can help you in creating a trigger like this. If you don't have a project management system right now, you might want to think about getting one to help you to lay out your projects and your tasks so that you can stay consistent on all your key business activities. Actually, in the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing a video on how you can create these workflows in a project management system so that you can be more organized and productive in your business. Keep a lookout for that video. The next step, once I've got my topics laid out, I now want to go back in really in depth and do keyword research for every single individual topic. I use this keyword research as the base and the outline for my YouTube video scripts as well. So this step is really important. This step helps you in understanding and knowing the keywords that you intend to rank for. Since in step one, the main aim was to formulate a topic based on the keywords that are in high demand in my niche. But as you know, YouTube videos also allow for you to include tags. And these tags must be mentioned in your video, in your description, and some in the title. So really knowing all the keywords that you intend to rank for before you actually go out and plan your video is really important. I search for related keywords, similar types of keywords, similar ways of using the keyword so that I can integrate them in my script and in my video. And I really find this step useful in actually segmenting and giving structure to my video because I know on the keywords that I need to be using and it helps me lay out and outline all the main points that I can include in my YouTube video. It's also really good in helping you come up with ideas for content that you can include in your YouTube videos. This usually takes me about 10 to 15 minutes per topic, so it doesn't take that long. TubeBuddy allows for you to save your tags as a list of tags so that when you actually go to post your video, they're already there saved for you. I typically also like to add them to my main video. So I just copy and paste the same tags to help me when I'm writing my YouTube video script. Once this is done, it's script writing time. Now, as I said earlier, I create a guide of what I want to include in my YouTube videos. And when I'm writing out my script, I like to make sure that my video is 
structured and it flows really well. So you can actually understand what I'm trying to say. And I'm not trying to just bring in uh, different ideas and giving you information all over the place because that would just be confusing. I find that having a script in front of me is so much more easier when I'm filming a video like this and it helps me in filming my YouTube videos faster. At this point in time, I typically spend at least an hour on each video script, sometimes less, sometimes more, where if I'm teaching a framework or a set of steps and at the same time, I also try to think about when I'm actually going to produce the video and edit it, I actually think about how I'm going to best be able to showcase the information through my videos. So when I was doing it at three times a week, I was literally just scripting out three videos for a week so that they can be posted the next week. And I was always one week in advance in my videos. But now I have given myself yet another challenge within this challenge to create 12 of those videos in a week. And those 12 videos will be what I will use as my videos for the month, the three posting per week. So currently, as of this month, I have recorded all 12 videos. You, it was hard work. Having this back in process, all systemized, made it so much more easier for me. So now all I have to do is spend my time editing the videos, which actually does take a long time. So to get those 12 videos done, it took me three days of doing three hours of scripting out all those videos, which actually three days in a week when for the next four weeks I'm going to be free is pretty good, right? Now, you know what the next step is, right? Batch filming your content. This step really depends on how long it takes you to record a video. In the beginning, if you're just starting out, it might take you an hour to record a 20 minute video. As you get better, you may take 45 minutes. For me, when I first started out, I just tried to allocate one day in the week to record all three of my videos. But let me tell you, by the third video in that one day, I was so dog tired. And you can kind of notice it, maybe I can notice it in my videos. So now I try to leave a break in between those videos. If I'm doing three videos in a day, I try to record one video in the morning and maybe two in the afternoon or two in the morning and one in the afternoon with quite a large break in between. So figure out what works for you and try to be consistent in doing it. And hopefully this video is going to help you in how you can structure and plan the back end of batching your YouTube content. If you're just starting out, maybe try now not to focus on doing so many all at once. Maybe just try to focus on doing your weekly videos in advance. So you're always one week ahead of your weekly videos. As you get into the routine of being consistent and you know what is required of you to get a YouTube video out on time and you know when you can monitor how long it takes you to do specific things in preparation for your YouTube video, then you can think of trying to batch your content more. Up until this point, we have covered all the necessary steps to get you to record all your batched videos. We know that that's not the end, right? Because it takes a lot more time to edit these videos and get them out. I know. And how you edit your videos depends on the style that you actually are going for and the niche that you are in. So I'm not going to focus that much on editing videos. If I did, this video would be really long. It normally takes me about three to five hours to fully edit an entire video. That means it's done, it's tagged, descriptions, thumbnails, everything. I include that in those three to five hours. That is really the back end process to ensuring that you're batching your content consistently. However, before I end this video, I just wanted to spend a little bit of time highlighting to you what batching this content will do for you, apart from helping you to stay consistent on YouTube. As you can see, a lot of hours already go into creating just one video. If you're new, probably you're still experimenting with it. But if you've already done a lot of videos, I'm sure you can agree with me, right? It takes a lot of time to get a video out. And if you're not actually seeing or reaping the benefits of your YouTube video at this point in time, like my videos, I mean, I'm not fully reaping all the benefits of them. The maximum amount of views I think a video of mine has gotten is like 94. So I know that this is not actually benefiting me right now. In the long term, maybe, but right now, not really. So I know that without batching your content, it's really going to feel like you're literally just working on YouTube. You're just working on getting your video out. It will demotivate you if you're not seeing any benefits right now. Batching and the whole structure around batching your content allows for me to plan and 
focus on my other business related activities in my online business. That's my one on one coaching, my programs and creating new programs. I'm currently in the middle of creating a new program and my digital marketing agency. So I am working on other projects. And without batching my content, I'd literally just be working on YouTube which is not what I want at this point in time. When it's spread out like this, I can afford to spend this amount of time in a short term to set me up for the long term. And so I can afford to spend those few hours on researching, on scripting, on recording, on editing, because it is spread out. And I can also see the bigger picture. One of the best benefits of batching your content is it will take you that one week of really, really, really rigorous hard work, but then you're sorted for the next three weeks, which means you have a lot more time to focus on the things that need your focus and that will move your business forward and that are actually going to be generating you a healthy income. And finally, the last point that I want to highlight is when my YouTube content is fully structured and I know the videos that I'm going to be churning out in the month, I then have more time to one, tease my audience on my other social platforms as to what video is coming up next because I myself know what's coming up next. If I'm not batching in advance, I wouldn't be able to enjoy the benefits of that. And teasing is such a great marketing tactic. And two, I can then also batch plan out my other content creation strategies. For example, my social media, my email lists, my blog posts. These all are essentially other forms of content that I can take my YouTube video from and repurpose them. If you want to know more about how to repurpose your content on social media, and I have a video for that too, feel free to check it out in the description box below. So yes, I can create content that then is going to generate me demand for my YouTube videos. In a nutshell, batching content is literally a lifesaver for you. If you're serious about YouTube video content creation. And I stress on the word serious because this is hard work. I kid you not. No excuse. You need to start batching your content ASAP. Hopefully this video has given you a good enough background in how you can start structuring and creating a process for yourself, one that works for you and how you can show up consistently and create YouTube videos consistently through batching your content. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying me and my channel, don't forget to show your support by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when a new video goes live. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.